2022 saw a return to more normal trading terms, more of a normal trading environment, and um, workforce returning to the cities. Suburbia was able to capitalise on a higher instance of workforce and labour force in their area, so those units generally traded quite well. City centre was disaffected a little bit because they had an absence of, um, of volume of people within their area. But generally speaking, it was, it was good. It was, a, it was a stable year, and that translated through to the activity in the market where there was a relatively consistent delivery of assets to the market and a pretty consistent uh, volume of sales being completed throughout the year. The supply was consistent and um, there were 23 sales completed last year which is down from the activity on the year before um, but the interesting point behind it would be the return to the public and purchaser category. Uh, being the dominant stimulus. So private equity would have accounted for the vast majority of the market in 2021. 2022 saw a return of the, pub, uh, the publicans being the dominant purchaser class. So off-market transactions accounted for 57% of volume and 71% of value in the market in 2022. And we've seen a noticeable increase in the volume of off-market activity in particular over the last three years. Um, we expect to see more off-market transactions. Um, Purchasers are now less reliant upon sitting back and watching and waiting for assets to be delivered. They're an awful lot more proactive. So they're actually going out and looking at certain opportunities and areas and deciding for themselves if it meets their certain set criteria at a point in time. And if they do, they will then pursue them. In 23, we anticipate that there is going to be a regular uh, level of activity in transactions as there was in 22, renewed appetite and demand. In the most part, purchasers that are active and engaged in seeking out opportunities are well resourced, so they're enabled to um, capitalise on an opportunity and move when it arrives. Um, and I suppose an interesting point to note and to watch is the proposed licensing reform uh, to be rolled out by Minister McEntee in 23.